Oh, hey, how's it going? It's been a bit. Um, so as you can tell by some of the chaos in here, uh, I'm moving. Um, and as a result, I actually have some nice natural lighting. Like, look, look at enjoy the outdoor. It's actually kind of sunny in Portland for once, which is crazy. Um, but what this means is uh, I got a lot going on and there's a lot of expenses that go along with moving. So today I wanted to talk quickly about um, knowing when to stop investing. I titled this video something crazy like I'm not buying any stocks. And I think that's an important thing to remember. Just because you have something set up one way of I want to buy X dollar amount of stocks per month, that's great when things are going well. But you need to be flexible and you need to be able to adapt when things change. That can be something like uh, if you get a raise, that means that you're going to be bumping up your um, your investment money because uh, you have more money to spend. But if that means that you have an emergency or something that you know is going to take more of your funds, it's important to take a step back. And instead of punishing yourself in a financial way, uh, which is something that I would consider doing in the past, which would just be uh, invest the same amount of money, but just... Yeah, I'll make it through it. That may be something like my um, safety net or my emergency fund gets smaller than I would like it to be. And I think maturing financially is understanding that you don't need to keep the same level of investing the entire time. The market's still down. We've had a good couple of days and things have gone pretty well. And that could lead some people to overextending in the market if they're in a similar situation than I am. I have spent a lot of money in the past couple of weeks uh, getting this move figured out and I'm not done spending money. And as a result of the holidays and not working during then, money's a little tight right now. So I have stopped investing at this point and it will resume once my uh, safety net hits the $4,000 uh, that I'd normally keep in it. So I think it's an important thing to remember that times are always changing. It's the idea of if you make a budget during, you know, say March, that budget's gonna be great until things change. Uh, the common occurrence that I always think about is what happens when you get to the holidays? Are you going to try to keep that same budget? No, the things change. You have to make a new budget. So when things come up in your life and you are, especially hopefully if you know that they're coming up uh, in the future, like this move was not something that I was kind of a surprise. My lease was going to end. I knew I was going to move. You take a step back and you slow down your investing because you know that you have more expenses coming up. But you also need to have the flexibility of if an emergency pops up, you do the same thing. And once you get back to the financial stability that you have previously, that's when you can start going all in into the market and start investing aggressively. I'm not going to be missing out on that much money by not investing in these couple weeks. I will be okay. But the thing that would not be okay is if I spent all of my money that I needed for my safety net and then something happened and then I either needed to take the money out at a loss, which is something we're trying to avoid at all costs, or I just didn't have the money that I needed to and I was in a tough spot. So just wanted to make this quick video. Uh, obviously the bed's still up against the wall, so uh, have some work to do uh, the rest of today. I just wanted to make a quick video talking about why I'm stopping investing in the stock market and why I think it's an important lesson to learn that you don't need to always be 100% go uh, moving forward, you can take a step back and take a break from investing and then move forward because your dollar bills that are in the market are going to continue to do so and are working for you during that time. So hopefully going to have a nice new uh, setup in the future. The lighting here is fantastic compared to what I was doing in the past. So hopefully the quality of the videos will go up. Uh, let me know what stocks you guys are buying and let me know what topics you'd like me to discuss in a future video. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you later.